But I do know when I tell you guys yesterday about the gentleman that bought me a book that I just left on the shelf and then for two years, and then I picked it up and it, it changed my life, and that's why I believe in books. And like I mentioned, this gentleman uh, is a guy that influenced me to get involved in business because all I wanted to do was preach, and he helped me to see that I could be a king and a priest. I don't know if anybody that has a more genius mind when it comes to business and especially business in the Bible than Myron Goat. So, Myron, hey, I want to welcome you uh, to the call this morning. We've got some powerful leaders on the call. And, uh, man, I tell you, your book, From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, is changing lives. And I understand you've got something special about it. So welcome to our call. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I um, I appreciate the opportunity to share this morning. Thank you, Dr. Breakthrough. Thank you for the opportunity to share on this call. The, the um, uh, When I hear somebody talking about generational wealth, it always gets me excited because – because people don't understand the purpose of money. Like, people don't really get, most poor people don't get it, middle class people don't get The purpose of money is not to spend it. The purpose of money is to multiply it. Everything in nature multiplies. Um, the first command before God ever gave the Ten Commandments was be fruitful and multiply. Um, everything in nature that grows, grows by multiplication. As you guys are going to be, and girls are going to be growing your businesses, you don't want to grow it by addition, you want to grow it by multiplication. As you're growing your wealth, you want to grow your wealth by multiplication. As families grow, they grow by multiplication. And so, so I believe that God intended for our wealth to grow exponentially by multiplication. And one of the things that I share in my book is, is the fact that, um, that when I get money, the most important thing that I ever do with my money is to make it make more money. I always tell people, you don't need a job. Your money needs a job. And the reason you have to have a job is because your money's unemployed. And if you get your money out of the unemployment line, then you can, be, you can set yourself up to be financially free. So um, uh, the, the, the whole idea of creating financial freedom, um, and, and, and I, believe that, I believe that God desires for us to be financially free, and I believe that we can become di financially free by, follow by following the financial freedom principles that are laid out in the Scripture. But the fact is, the fact is, business is a good idea. The, the media would have us to believe, and the government would have us to believe, that, that business is, is an underhanded, illegal activity. But the reality is the only reason – any of us ever have any money in our pocket to do the things that we desire to do for ourselves and for our families is because somebody somewhere sold something to someone for a profit. The only reason the government has any money to even promote the idea that business is somehow underhanded is because somebody somewhere started a business that sold something for a profit, and then the government took some of that money. It, it, it's, it's so fascinating that the media would have us to believe that legitimate businesses or legitimate business owners are out there murdering people. In, in fact, people are so subconsciously anti-wealth because of the media that they don't even realize that, that is like, that's one of the things. That's why I call the television the electronic income reducer because it is designed to program us. That's why the television programs are called television programs because they are designed to program you to be sick, broke, misinformed, and fearful. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't noticed, but there are more people. There's been a study done, and there, since, since the 1970s, there have been more people killed on television and in Hollywood movies by entrepreneurs and business people than any other single category of human being, including career criminals. That's right. More people are killed by entrepreneurs, business owners, CEOs on television than than even are killed by murderers on television and in movies. That's mind-blowing. And so they're, they're pro, they've programmed us and they've programmed our children to have this, this, this internal disdain for business and business owners. And one of the things that I like to share with people is you will never work hard to become something that you despise. And a person will never behave consistently in a way that's inconsistent with their programming. So what you've got to do is you've got to reprogram yourself and one of the best ways to reprogram yourself is by hanging around people who have diff a different way of thinking and letting their thinking, uh, uh, people who have what you desire to have, people who are doing what you are desiring to do, people who have become what you desire to become, hang around those people. And if you can't get close to them personally, get close to them in their books, get close to them in their audio programs, get close to them in their video programs, get close to them in their podcasts, get close to them in their workshops and their seminars so you can have your mind changed for 
your own embitterment instead of instead of being programmed for your own self destruction. Um, and like Dr. Breakthrough said, I did write a book called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man: How Anyone Can Get Rich Starting from Anywhere. And the reason I wrote that book is because I used to be a trash man. And not only was I a trash man, I was a broke trash man. And I didn't like being broke, and I didn't really like being a trash man. And while I was, while I was working my full-time job to pay my bills to make a living, I was working my part-time business to build myself and make a fortune. And so I would get up at 2.30 in the morning, and I would go drive this trash truck for 8 to 10 hours a day, and then I'd come home, take a nap, and then I'd go out in, in the marketplace, and I would do business selling life insurance and investment in the marketplace. Why did I do that? I did that because I believe that business is a good idea because business is a God idea. And so I didn't come up with this whole idea of being an entrepreneur. I didn't invent this idea of being a business person. I just adapted it. I just, I just tapped into it. And what's beautiful is you can adapt it. You can tap in. You can tap into it. You can tap into it, and you can become a successful entrepreneur, but you will never become a successful entrepreneur with an employee mindset. You know, uh, Dr. Sam was talking about the fact that in my book, I have the two-sentence wealth formula. The first chapter is called, What Are Your Chances of Being Rich? Right? And, and I give the two-sentence wealth formula, and the two-sentence wealth formula is this. If you want to be – sentence number one, if you want to be rich, find out what rich people do financially, comma, and do the same thing, period. That's the first sentence. The second sentence is this. If you want to be rich, find out what poor people do, and whatever else you do, don't do that, period. Like, become fanatical about those two studies. Study rich people, what they do financially. Do all of those things. Study poor people, what they do financially. Like, avoid all those things. Like, don't eat where poor people eat. Like, figure out the restaurant they eat at. Never go in those doors, right? Figure out. The, 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 the magazines they read, never read those magazines. Figure out the television programs they watch, never watch those television programs. L figure out the music they listen to, don't listen to that music. I mean, become fanatical about discovering what rich people and poor people do and only do those things that rich people do financially and don't do the things poor people do. And if, for those of you who are out there and would like for me to help you start a list, I'm going to help you start your list this morning. What do rich people do that poor people don't do? Well, rich people educate themselves. Poor people entertain themselves. It's so fascinating. Poor, rich people educate. We, those of us who have created wealth in our lives, we educate ourselves. We learn the things that we do not know. Poor people allow somebody else to educate them, and then poor people entertain themselves. They spend all of their time medicating themselves through, through entertainment, so that they don't have to living their life vicariously through the football player, the basketball player, the actor, the singer, the rock star, whoever, so that they don't have to think about how painful their life is and how their life isn't working. So they say, my team won the game. And the fact is, they're not your team. You don't play for them. You don't get paid by them. And they don't even know who you are. The reality is, they're not your team. They're a team you root for. When you change your mind that the the – the, the Dallas Cowboys and the Miami Dolphins and, and the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Cleveland um, uh, Cavaliers and, and the Golden State Warriors, when you realize those people are not your team, that your family is your team, then you will begin to work so your family can win a, a national, an international, a lifetime, a generational championship instead of cheering for somebody else who did, who did it, and they're not going to share any of that with you. So rich people educate themselves, poor people entertain themselves, okay? What's another difference? Well, um, poor people poor people are, expect more from other people than they do from themselves. Rich people expect more them, from themselves than they do from other people. That's like one of the big differences between rich people and poor people. Rich people, rich people value m time more than we value money. Poor people value money more than they value time. You say, man, what does that even mean? Rich people value time more than we value money. The reason, one of the reasons rich people are rich is because we value time more than we value money. People who walk around, if, somebody, if I ever hear somebody say time is money, you better hurry up, time is money. When I hear somebody say that, I already know they're broke. How do I know they're broke? Because people who think that time is money, they go through life selling a whole bunch of their time for a little bit of somebody else's money, and they wonder why they can't get ahead. Those of us who realize that time is more valuable than money, we'll spend as much money as necessary to buy back the rest of our lives. And, and, and it's, it's so amazing. Like, people will spend time cutting their grass. And you can pay somebody, literally, you pay a company, literally, 
virtually peanuts and buy back that two hours, that three hours that you spend every week cutting your grass and trimming your hedges. I'm not cutting any grass and trimming any hedges. Uh, Dr. Breakthrough will tell you, there's nothing that could break on a car that I can't fix. There's nothing that could break on a car that I can't fix other than maybe an automatic transmission. I can't rebuild an automatic transmission. But I could rebuild an engine. I could change an engine. I could change a transmission. I could change ball joints, and I could change the brakes on my car. But there's, there's nothing I couldn't do. There's nothing that could break on my car that I couldn't fix. But there's well, also nothing my, that will I, break on my car. Right. What's that? Hey, hold on one second. Yes, sir. I, I, don't know if you could, I don't know if you could fix that Bentley you got, though. I don't know that computer system. <laughs> no, I, I'm well, sorry. Yeah, maybe not, not not the computer system in the Bentley, but the but the mechanical stuff that I could fix. That's right, for sure. Right. You're, you got a point there. The computer stuff, no, probably not. So, but I could figure it out though. I guarantee I could figure it out. But here's what I want you to understand: there's nothing that will break on my car that I will fix. I won't change the oil. I won't fix the brakes. I won't change the headlight. I won't change the tail light. I'm not going to spend my time doing any of that. Why? Because my time is too valuable. I make. Sometimes if I go speak and a corporation pays me to come speak, I charge $25,000 an hour. If I do coaching, I make $2,000 an hour. If I'm speaking and selling from the stage, I might make $100,000, $200,000 an hour. Why in the world would I take an hour of my time and work on my car when I can pay somebody $200 and fix that, and I don't have to think about it anymore? So rich people value money, time more than we value money. Poor people value money more than they value time. That's why rich people, that's why we spend as much money as we have to to buy back every hour of our lives that we can. And that's why poor people waste so much time trying to save a little bit of money. So that's just a start to your list. But what I want you to do is I want you to have the opportunity to begin to expand your mind into principles that can create generational wealth for your family. Because the reality is creating generational wealth is more than a notion, and you don't do it just because you desire to do it, and you don't do it just because you dialogue about it. You've got to discover some principles that make it work. And so, like Dr. Breakthrough said, I wrote a book called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, How Anyone Can Get Rich Starting from Anywhere. And I was talking to a friend of mine a few weeks ago, and he told me he wanted to order a box of books because – um, he wanted to get some books to some of his people, and he said that um, I'm tired of my people having to buy your book on Amazon for $60. I said, what are you talking about? I don't sell my book on Amazon for $60. He said, somebody's selling it on Amazon for $60. And I said, shut up. And so I went on Amazon, and sure enough, somebody was selling it. The lowest price I could find then was like 60 something dollars. I looked last week. The lowest price I could find was $53 for my book, From the Trash Man to the Cash Man. And then – I said, well, I wonder how high they're selling it for. And the first time I looked, the highest price I could find was $713. My book is for sale on Amazon. Not, it's not even me selling it, right? And then the lowest price that it's selling for on Amazon, like the physical book, the lowest price, that, the highest price now that it's selling for is 800 and something dollars. Like, why would somebody pay 800 and something dollars for my book? I, I found that fascinating. Well, somebody... And then I was telling the story about how people were selling my books for $60 on Amazon at a conference that I was speaking at. And the woman who was putting on the conference, she said, oh, yeah, I just bought your book last month for my dad on Amazon for, two, for, um, for $60. I'm like, what? If you'd have told me, I would have given it to you. Anyway, so what I'm going to do this morning is anybody who would like a copy of my book, Dr. Breakthrough, do you think these folks on the line this morning would like to get a free copy of my book, From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, how anyone can get rich starting from anywhere. You think they'd like that? Oh, of course. Uh, I got mine sitting right in front of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> my man. So um, I'm going to tell you where you can go to get a free copy of my book. Now, here's the deal. The reason I'm giving you a copy of my book, I'm going to ask you to pay $9.99 shipping and handling, but you'll get the book for free. And then um, what I want you to do is I'm going to give you also a trial membership, a free trial membership to my membership site that's called Bible Success Academy. Now, in Bible Success Academy, I teach biblical principles of business and per- finance and personal literacy, um, personal financial literacy. That's what, that's what the whole purpose of Bible Success Academy is. I teach those concepts in that book, I mean, in that membership site. So what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a – if you get the book for free, I'm going to give you a trial membership for two weeks, 14 days, 14-day free trial, and when you get that 14-day free trial, 
Um, you can go in there. You can watch the videos. You can listen to the audios. You can consume all of the content that's in there for the next few weeks, and there's already a bunch of bonus content in there that you can go and you can devour, right? And then, um, and by the way, I would recommend that when you go there, the first thing you do is watch the video entitled How to Make the Rest of Your Life the Best of Your Life. That's what I would do first, Ooh. right? And then after there, wait, you wait, can consume Mark, it in any way you want bone. to. That's bad to the bone right there. <laughs> Anyway, What's that's that? a breakthrough to, right there. <laughs> what, how to make the rest of your life the best of your life? Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. It'll change. Hey, it hey, will Byron, truly I, change your I, life I, for would, the rest of your life. I would, pay, I would pay more than that just to get that one training. Of course, I've been part of your your membership site from the, from the time you started it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I, I devour and love all your stuff, man, because of who you are. You know. And by the way, you've been married, what, 34, 33 years? Thirty. It'll be 33 years this month. Yep. 33 uh, years wow. this month. And we're going to Hawaii the second time this year to celebrate our 33rd anniversary. And, and so really, really excited about that as well. So, yeah. so, but, but when, when they get, I want to finish explaining the offer before I tell them where they can get the offer, because I want everybody to know that like, I am, I don't need to sell a book. I don't need, the, I can, I don't need the 999 shipping and handling. I don't need, I mean, my money made me over $2,000 before I got out of bed this morning. So I don't need the money. I'm, I'm not doing this because I need the money. But if, if you, people, people who pay, pay attention. And people who don't pay, don't pay attention. People who pay a little, pay a little attention. People who pay a lot, pay a lot of attention. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to pay a little so you can pay a little attention. And then, you know what? You can begin to dive into some information that will change your life. And if you decide to pay more attention down the road, then you can do that as well. So here we go. Um, the the you pay nine ninety nine shipping and handling, you get the book for free. We're gonna ship you the book for free. We're gonna ship you some Bible Success Academy swag. We're gonna get send you a sticker for your computer with the logo of the Bible Success Academy. We're gonna send you a logo for your computer for the with the with the logo of the Virtual Millionaire Club. The Virtual Millionaire Club is my affiliate program that pays out seventy percent when you give my book away. When you give my book to somebody, I'm like if you like the book, if you give it to somebody, I'm gonna pay you seventy percent. Okay. And anyway, and if they keep the membership and after they try the membership and they keep it after the 14 days, I'm going to pay you $20 and 15 cents a month. So here's what I want you to understand. I want you to understand that this membership was designed for you to change your life. And so to take advantage, oh, by the way, if you don't like it, just email us on day 13, your card will never be charged and we can part as friends. Your, man, your membership will be canceled and we'll part as friends. Um, if you keep the membership site, if you keep the membership, you'll be charged $27.99 a month, which is less than a dollar a day. It's less than a pack of chewing gum a day. It's less than a bag of potato chips a day. It's less than a cost of a soda a day. It's, it's literally less than you could blow. It, it's it's one-fifth as much as a cup of coffee a day. So, um, like, it's a total no-brainer, easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. Um, you get to try to – if you keep the membership site, it's $27.99 a month. And it'll change your life and make your life better. So where can you go to take advantage of this free special offer? You can go to freebookandtrialoffer.com, freebookandtrialoffer.com. And um, you can take advantage of this special offer, www.freebookandtrialoffer.com. Take advantage of the free book. And when you take advantage of the free book, um, you can get, you'll get the book, you'll get the swag, you'll get access to the membership site for two weeks. Plus, we're going to email you the first three chapters of the book, so you don't even have to wait till the book comes in to start reading it. So, and if you hate the book, after you get the book, just to show you, I don't need your nine ninety nine. If you hate the book after you get the book, and you say, man, that book, I can't even believe I wasted my time reading something like that. All you have to do is send us an email and say, Myron, I hated the book. I want my $9.99 back, and we'll refund your $9.99. So, therefore, you're, and, you, and we'll, you'll, we'll let you keep the book. So that's the best offer I can make for you, apart from paying you to read the book, which I'm not going to do that. Um, so, so go to www.freebookandtrialoffer.com and take advantage of this special offer. Be blessed. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Dr. Stan. Man, I hate to tell you this, man. You so bad, you got me wanting to go to freebookandtrialoffer.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pastor Kenny, I know time is up, man. I know you've enjoyed him as much as I have, Myron. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate you. 
And uh, God bless you, my friend. Incredible. It's a breakthrough. All right, my Pastor pleasure, Kenny. Bro. My pleasure. My goodness. Glory to Come God. Come on. Dang, <laughs> well, I'm going to get you back here, bro. I'll get him back on the deal, man. <laughs> I'm going to my book right yes, now. Sir. I know the team is as well. That was a great deal. All, as always, thanks for sharing your incredible uh, plethora of leaders and mentors into our lives. It makes us better. I look forward to meeting uh, Byron one day myself. In the meantime, I look forward to meeting you as well. How, how he became a uh, cash man from a trash man. I'm going to figure it out. Praise God. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> thank you, Byron. I'm, I'm one of your new students, and uh, so thank God for My you. My pleasure, brother. Thank you. Having you. you thank you. God bless. Thank you. All right, guys, y'all heard it. Go and apply it. Go right now. I, when? I said right now. I'm going to be, beat me there to free, uh, free book and trial offer. And trial offer. Dot com.